All right, this is Boxing with the Truth, and I am the Truth. It's uh, July 20th, 2015, and today we have with us former IBF World Welterweight Champion Kermit the Killer Cintron. How you doing today, Kermit? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Just you know, spending some time with the family. Well, um, I just want to go over a few facts for the fans real quick. Um, some of them might not be familiar with you. Um, your uh, pro debut was in 2000. Um, you do fight at welterweight. You actually uh, started boxing kind of late. You started at 19. And uh, your pro record is actually 35 wins, uh, 5 losses, and 2 draws, right? That's correct. So... Now, you actually didn't have a real long amateur career, though, either, compared to a lot of guys. You had 24 wins and 5 losses, right? Uh, it's something like that, yes. Uh, you know, not, not, too, not too much of an amateur career. You know, um, as, as you said, you know, I started late. And, uh, yeah, I picked up the, the, the sport uh, pretty quick, you know. I uh, learned uh, the basics pretty quick, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and pretty much more important thing in boxing is really the basics. I mean, you know, and that's what I'm doing right now. It's going back to the basics of being of the boxing sport. Okay, but like I just had mentioned, you you have been a world um, champion. You actually um, also had the WBO World Welterweight title and an NABF World Wel uh, uh, Welterweight title, right? Oh, uh, that's correct. Yes. So. Um, I'm going to talk about a few fighters on your resume so some people can get familiar with them. Um, you fought uh, Canelo Alvarez, Sal Alvarez. You fought Antonio Smith, Carlos uh, Molina, Paul Williams, uh, I guess if that's what you want to call that. <laughs> Sergio Martinez, uh, Love More Than Ado, uh, two times against Antonio Margarita, David Estrada, Teddy Reed, and I mean, it's a long list, but uh, you definitely have not shied away from any competition. No, not at all. You know, uh, you know, if you want to, if you want to be the best, you gotta, you gotta fight the best. Uh, you know, and and that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to fight, you know, the best fighters out there. You know, and um, you know, and become one of the best. I mean, you know, you I, as a fighter, uh, you don't want to, you know, pick and choose your opponents. Um, you know, they, uh, you promote those that for you in the beginning of your career. Um, but after after a while, when you get to start getting ranked, um, you know, it. It's where you step it up, and, and you fight where they, they put it in front of you. And I'm definitely not, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the type of fighter to be shying away from any, any opponent or any, uh, you know, or, or even any uh, new up and comers. You know, I mean, you know, you, you just have to go in the ring and and, and fight uh, whatever it is. So now recently, you actually have some new people around you, right? I mean, uh, you're obviously on a comeback. You've uh, put different people in different places to help you, uh, you know, make that goal of getting a world title again, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yep. So so what have you done different? Who have you brought in? Well, right now, you know, I'm actually, um, all these things that I've done differently, it's really just, uh, Okay, and uh, and what management are you under now? Basically, I'm doing it myself. Oh, okay. So I want to bring up a no, couple. Just, um, oh, go ahead. I, I just yeah, from from otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm with uh, Warriors Boxing. You know, they're, they're trying to get my career back in back on track, uh, and they've been doing um, a really good job with it. So I want to bring up a, a, a couple different uh, opponents in your career, and uh, I, I want to find out for me personally what happened or what didn't happen and for the fans. First, I want to bring up, how come there was never a rematch between you and Sergio Martinez? I'm sorry, what was the question? Why was there never a rematch between you and Sergio Martinez? Oh, I, I wanted a rematch. 
I definitely wanted the rematch. I'm um, not sure um, why the, the rematch didn't never happen. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a close fight. It was a good fight. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure, and I'm not sure why the the, the rematch never happened. Um, it was a little confusing because uh, we were both promoted by the same promoter. So. Okay. Now another fight I want to bring up, and a lot of people that have followed your career, they're all aware of uh, what happened in this fight. I believe it was in the fourth round. Paul Williams, you go to lean in to hit him. He slips. You go straight past him, right through the ropes, off the table, onto the floor. Now how hurt were you, Kermit? Could you? Could, did you think you could get back in the ring? I, I, you know, um, what happened in the fight, uh, when I fell out, uh, the only thing that was wrong with here is, uh, the wind was knocked out of me. Um, you know, I hit, I think I'm pretty to, to hit the monitor on my lower back, and that's what, and I think that's what did it. Um, you know, if I would have, if, if, if five minutes would have been given to me, you know, I would have been back in the ring, and we, we would have finished up the fight. Okay, and speaking of finishing it, I mean, it was a decent fight. It was three rounds. It, you know, some people said you had one round, he had two rounds. It, it could have went either way up to that point. So why was there never a huge push to get this fight happening again? Uh, he didn't want to fight. He, 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 saw, he saw what was, what was happening uh, in the first three rounds. I mean, you know, um, I was just catching uh, Paul Williams coming in at times. And at one time, I, had, I you know, I know I heard him bad. Um, and, and I, I honestly believe that, um, that I haven't did anything with the rematch because he, he, he saw what was, uh, what was happening. Yeah, I mean, because just personally, after watching that, I mean, I thought the fans deserved a rematch. I mean, for the people that paid to come to see that fight, that watched it, you know, on TV or whatever, and just for both of you guys to, you know, even Paul admitted that he didn't want to win that fight that way. That was basically a gimme, and he didn't want it that way, and I'm sure you wouldn't have wanted it that way. So, I mean... You know, at, the end, at, the end, at the end of the night, it should have been a no contest. Um, but I felt, you know, I, I won the fight. I felt like I won the fight. Uh, a lot of people felt that I won the fight. I felt like I was, you know, ahead of the scorecards. Um, but, you know, at the end of the, end of the night, it was a heavy show. Um, so I felt like I got screwed big time on that. Okay. So now I want to talk about how you actually stay so positive as a fighter because I know you've had a lot of different things going on through your life all the way back to childhood. I mean, um, you lost both of your parents by the age of 13. You were raised by your uncle who kind of got you into boxing. He used to be a boxer. And, uh, I mean, you know, you had the two margarita fights that, uh, you know, just didn't go your way. But you have somehow have maintained to stay positive through your whole career. How do you do that? There's nothing worse than losing my parents at a, at a young age. There's nothing, nothing worse than the feeling, you know, uh, and, you know, the box, boxing is a box, it's a sport. Boxing is a sport, and, and you know, I, I love I love competing, and, you know, I, like, I, I have fun with it. You know, um, boxing, boxing is just a, a thing that I do uh, career-wise. Uh, I have, you know, put, put food on, on the table for my kids, you know, I have a nice house, um, but there's actually, there's nothing, there's nothing, uh, worse than, than losing uh, your parents as a young, you know, kid, um, so, you know, through my career, going through the hard times, whatever, you know, I just shook it off my shoulders and, and, you, and you continue. So, talking about competing, you've actually been an athlete all your life. Because you were a wrestler, you played football, you did track, and you did baseball as well, right? That's right. You name it, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to bring up another fighter in your career, and I'm just kind of curious. Maybe you just needed some... I know sometimes when boxers take a, a tough loss, you know, they take a little time off. They reevaluate, you know, what they want to do. They're thinking and just kind of need to get away from the sport. When you fought Sal Alvarez Canelo, you took a 16-month layoff. What was the reason behind that? Uh, I took that because, uh, you know, in, in a way I was somewhat disgusted um, by how things, you know, how things went to fight. You know, um, 
you know, going to his own, uh, in pretty much his backyard, uh, you know, spotting him in, in, in a, in a, I don't think it was like a, it, to me it was like a 15 by 15 ring, you know, like, it was like, it was like no fairness. You know, I, I, I feel, I feel like in every fight that I've been to, you know, I always went in there, as a, you know, I was fighting, fighting literally. Um, and there's, and there's times in, in, in my career where, like, it wasn't that way, you know. Um, but I took that year and a half off, whatever it was, because I, I just wanted to take the time off and, and just enjoy my time with, with my family. Okay. So I'm curious, when, when do you have a um, like a superstition or a habit or or anything that you need to do before you get in the ring? Oh, uh, not at all, not at all. Just uh, you know, my thing is just being around my family. You know, seeing my kids, seeing my wife, uh, talking to them every day, um, going to the you know, going to the fight. You know, um, that, that's my thing. You know, I, I don't really have anything. Um, as long as I'm prepared, um, I'm good. Okay, I want to talk about a relationship that you used that you had with Emmanuel Stewart. Tell me about that and how much he meant to you. Uh man, Emmanuel Stewart uh, was everything to me. You know, um, I miss him dearly. Uh, there hasn't been one day where I don't think about him. Um, you know, Manny, Manny was like a he brought me to to his. To, to the gym, to you know, from gym, um, you know, taught me uh, a lot of and about the boxing uh, sport. Um, you know, I, I became I was I was his first legit uh, Puerto Rican world champion. Uh, yes, he had Puerto Rican champions already, but they were already world champions. I wasn't. You know, I didn't have no belt with him. So you know, him and I, uh, we you know, we made some history there. Uh, but you know, he. He treated me like a, like I was his son, you know. Um, he's a great guy. Um, I you know I I lived with him the, the times that uh, I was in camp, um, and it was it was a great experience with him uh, overall. So tell me something that you learned from him. Give me a life lesson that you learned from him. Um man, um, just, just, man, one of the best things is just. Just having fun, you know, just having fun in life, you know, um, to, to boxing no matter what, uh, you know, just, just, just enjoying the, the moments, you know, that, that you have, um, you know, just, uh, I mean, history that he had with, with, uh, Tommy Hearns, uh, them guys like that, you know, uh, just the, the crime gym itself, you know, it's, it's crazy, it's a lot. Okay, now, so you are, uh, I know you are training, like I said, you got some new people around you, so is there any time frame on when we're going to see Kerman Cintron back in the ring again? Uh, soon. <laughs> soon, you know, that's, that's the best answer I can give you right now, is uh, I know it's going to be soon, um, and just, uh, you know, I'm just training right now, and, uh, just get ready for my next fight. Okay, and, uh. Speaking of soon, I'm sure you're aware that Al Heyman and Greg Cohen has, you know, they've brought all this boxing back to local networks and free TV. Have you had any contacts in any way about getting on any of these shows? Um, my promoter's been uh, trying to put me on a couple on a few uh, cards, uh, but, you know, uh, I'm not really sure what they're going to do. You know, I'm sure they're going to try to Okay, now I want to bring up another fighter. Recently, you uh, made a statement on social media. Basically, uh, I'm not going to say word for word because I don't remember the exact statement, but uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Basically, uh, Amir Khan needs to stop crying about trying to fight Floyd Mayweather, and uh, why not just fight you, right? Uh, you know, I... Uh, as a fighter, you know, um, you, 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 you win, you know, uh, to, to get the bigger fights. Um, you know, you lose, you're not supposed to be crying. And that's what, that's what, uh, Khan does. He, you know, he, he steps up in the game, especially with big punchers, and he gets knocked out. And after that, he wants to, uh, cry me a river 
um, you know, right then and then, he has, he has the, the, the rights to be calling uh, the bigger, you know, bigger names. Because he has the rights to, to get the bigger paydays. He, you know, he thinks he's like the man in boxing right now, and really he's not, you know. Uh, I don't know if I can't, I can't even put him on the top six in the working with division right now. Um, but, you know, he's always calling out Mayweather, you know, and, and, I, and I understand, you know, as a fighter, you want to fight the best. Um, but at this point in, in his career, I don't, I don't see uh, why he, uh, he deserves a fight with uh, Mayweather. You know, um, if anything, I, I, see, I see Keith Thurman uh, getting a shot. Just because, you know, he goes in there, he fights whoever. Uh, he doesn't pick any fighters. Um, he goes in there and knocks people out. They stop, he stops his opponents. Um, and he's, you know, he's got the attitude, you know, and then he reminds you of me. Um, so I, you know, I, I believe, I, I, you know, I highly believe that, that Don deserves a fight against Mayweather. Okay, so let me ask you something. Do you think you deserve a fight against Khan? I don't know if I deserve a uh, uh, fight with, with Khan, yeah. but I would love to fight Khan just to shut him up. <laughs> so, are you? Do you want? I mean, do you want a chance to call him out in this interview right now, whether there's a response or not? Hey, my my thing is, uh, I'm not the, I'm not the one to be calling people out. I'm not the one to be you know uh, being being the loud, the loud. Uh, but you know, if Amir Khan is looking for uh, an opponent, you know. Um, here I am, you know, uh, Kermit Stinchon, uh, apparently he's washed up. Yeah, come, come, come get him, you know. Uh, don't come fight me, call him, call me. <laughs> um, you know, I, it's, it's funny because, like, I don't see, I don't see any of these up-and-comers, um, you know, calling, uh, calling fighters out, you know, that if, if they do, you know, it's they, fighters that, that really aren't, are, yeah, good records. Um, for chain punch, you know, um, not once has my name been mentioned about being being as an opponent to any of the new up and comers. Uh, you know, Keith Thurman, I've never heard my name being brought up. Amir Khan, uh, 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 Garcia now, he's moving up in weight class. Who's fighting my logic, who can't, you know, yeah, he's a good fighter, but chain punch. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, as a fighter, I sit back and, and I look and I'm like, man, you know, like, uh, everybody, you know, says that I'm a watched up fighter now, that, you know, that I don't have any more, but my name, my name never comes up and my phone never rings. Well, you know who I'd like to see you get... I always question that. I always question that. You know, you know who I'd like to see you get in the ring with? Because they're starting to claim that he might be washed up too, and I don't think he is either, is I'd like to see you and Robert Guerrero fight. Oh, he's, he's a good fighter too. <laughs> you know, um, I, and I believe that we both have uh, the same promoter, so I, I won't mind. He's a good fighter. I won't mind fighting him. Are you familiar? I know, I know I, because I know he, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't back up for anybody. Are you uh, familiar with the new Ray Robinson? Uh, I never heard. I mean, I've I heard of his name, but I've never seen him play. Uh, so I don't know. I don't hear from Billy. That's, that's the extent I know about him. Okay, because, I mean, he's an up-and-comer guy, you know. He might be somebody, uh, or uh, how about Brandon Rios? Who's that? Brandon Rios. Oh, Brandon Rios is another guy. Oh, give me anybody. I'll fight anybody, you know. <laughs> then the question is, will they fight me? <laughs> Fairly not, because you know? your phone's not ringing. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the difference. That's the difference between, uh, you know, uh, me and, and there's other fighters out there. I, I'm not afraid to fight anybody. Give me Margarito. I'll fight him again a third time. And a fourth time. I don't care. <laughs> you know? Hey, that's honesty, though. That's honesty. That's a, that's a true warrior right there. Hey man, that's why I'm. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm. I'm still in the sport. I love it. I love the sport. And I love the comp competition. So let me ask you something. And if I, you and I just that, and I just that, after the fact that my hand is 100, percent I can't wait to get back in the ring. So let me ask you something. I know you love the sport and you're a true warrior of it, and we need more guys like you. But if you weren't a boxer, what type of profession would you be in? Right now, I'm probably. Uh, uh, I was 
different physical education teacher. Okay. So that's what that's what I really wanted to do when I you know when I uh, graduated from high school. So listen, Kermit, with that, I'm going to wrap up the interview. Um, I appreciate your time today, and I want you to um, give a t give a shout-out to your fans and your supporters and let them know that uh, you're on the comeback, so to look for you. Yeah, my fans, you know, uh, look out. You know, Simpson's coming back. He's, he's 100% uh, ready with his hand, uh, feeling great. Just in, you know, I'm just in training right now, and I'm just waiting for my next fight. Uh, which is coming soon, uh, so stay tuned. Uh, Thanks coming back. 147. And all you welterweights out there that think Kermit Cintron's done or if he's just an opponent, make his phone ring. Make his phone ring because I want to see him back in the ring and I want to see him knock some of you guys out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially Amir Khan, if you hear this, please get on that phone and call him. Yeah, give a call, man. My number is easy to find. <laughs> All right, and with that, the truth has spoken.